Welcome everybody. We have been given this question. Integral 0 to pi over 2, 30 times sin 6x divided by sin x times dx. We are expected to integrate this. The foremost what I wish to do is, I would like to rewrite sin 6x as sin of 3 times 2x. Now this is similar to sin 3 theta, which is equal to 3 times sin theta, negative 4 times sin cubed theta. So therefore, sin 3 of 2x can be rewritten as 3 times of, in place of theta, we substitute 2x and this is going to be 4 times sin cubed of, in place of theta, I substitute 2x. So this is nothing but sin 6x. So this is the substitution that will go in here. So I'm going to take this as 1. So therefore, I can rewrite 1 to be as 30 times integral 0 to pi over 2 in place of sin 6x this is going to be 3 times of sin 2x negative 4 times of sin cubed of 2x divided by sin x so I'm going to write sin x like this times dx now this is equal to 30 times integral 0 to pi over 2. Now sin 2x is going to be 2 times sin x times cos x divided by sin x negative 4 times. Now sin cubed 2x can be written as sin 2x times sin 2x times sin 2x and this has to be multiplied with dx divided by sin x. Now clearly sin x sin x can be cancelled and this is going to be 30 times integral 0 to pi over 2. 3 times 2 is 6 you have a cos x negative 4 times. Now can I write sin 2x as 2 times sin x times cos x? Of course I can. And I'm going to write this sin 2x as 2 times sin x cos x. And I'm going to write this sin 2x as 2 times sin x cos x divided by sin x. Clearly, a sin x sin x can be cancelled. And probably I will place a parenthesis over here. Right? So, this can be further rewritten as 30 times integral 0 to pi over 2, 6 times cos x. Now, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 4 is 32. Now, you have a sin x and a sin x, that's going to be sin squared x. So, let me place that sin squared x. You got a cos x and a cos x that's going to be cos squared x. I'm just going to retain this cos x as it is. Right? So this is what we have got times dx. Right? I hope you are following. I am multiplying sin x into sin x. So this these two sin x will give me sin squared x. I got a cos x and a cos x. That would give me cos squared x. I'm just retaining cos x as it is. Now what I wish to do is I would like to write cos squared x as 1 negative sin squared x. So this is going to be 30 times integral 0 to pi over 2, 6 times cos x negative 32 times sin squared x times cos squared x is 1 negative sin squared x times cos x times dx. So this is what I've got. Now I would like to distribute dx, so this is 30 times integral 0 to pi over 2, 6 times cos x times dx, negative 32 times integral 0 to pi over 2, sin squared x times 1 negative sin squared x times cos x times dx. Now integral of cos x that is going to give me sin x 
and the limits are 0 to pi over 2. So there isn't anything to worry about it. Now we need to integrate this. So what I wish to do is I would like to go over here and show you the integration. So let me integrate sin squared x times 1 negative sin squared x times cos x times dx limits are 0 to pi over 2. Let sin x be equal to t so you get cos x dx is equal to dt. When x is equal to 0, t is equal to 0. When x is equal to pi over 2, t is equal to 1. So this is equal to integral sin x is t, so t squared 1 negative t squared cos x dx is dt. So this is 0 to 1. So this is going to be integral t squared negative t power 4 times dt which can be rewritten as 0 to 1 t squared times dt negative 0 to 1 t power 4 dt. So when you integrate this you get t power 3 divided by 3 negative t power 5 divided by 5. The limits are 0 to 1. So this is going to be 1 over 3 negative 1 over 5. If I were to take the LCM as 15 this is 5 negative 3 which is 2 over 15. So take this value and substitute it here. So this is going to be 32 times 2 over 15 and I substitute the upper limit I get 1, lower limit will give me 0. So this is going to be 30 times 6 negative, this is 64 divided by 15 which is equal to 30 times 6 times 15, you take 15 as the LCM, 33 and 90 negative 64. Now 15 divides 30 2 times so this is equal to 2 times of 90 minus 64 that's 10 6 8 26 so you get 22 times 26 which is nothing but 52 units are just 52 so that is the solution for this beautiful question now this is a lovely question and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you everybody.